Welcome to, what day of anime is this again? I think six. So, welcome to the sixth day of anime, where my true wife who gave to me Little Witch Academia. Which, since Tailrite is a magical girl and this show is about girls using magic, I think this kind of fits, so yay. Little Witch Academia is one of the shows that I did not like nearly as much as I had hoped to. It was a mostly episodic series that felt like a slice of life most of the time despite the magical world. There were a few interesting twists, especially near the end, and it did lead to a very trigger finale. A lot of the episodes just felt boring and pointless. But even among the mediocrity, there were some episodes that really did stand out. There was the race with the magical room, Aka going into Susie's mind, but the one that stood out to me most was episode 4, Nightfall. This episode is about the characters going to a book release for Nightfall, a series which seems to be alluding to a certain book series about vampires. And the reason this episode stood out to me so much was because of the way it portrayed uh, creators and those who enjoyed their creations. Near the beginning of the episode, Lotte talked about how the books were able to help her get through tough times. And this is true of a lot of different types of stories and how they can impact the reader or viewer or however they take in the medium. But the thing that I found most interesting here was a conversation after Annabelle passed her pen on to Lotte, making her the next author of the Nightfall series, something that Lotte did did not want to do. Lotte commented that she did not want this, that there are a lot of things that she is not good at, but she wants to cheer on the people who are. And I really like this mindset, and it is one that I do not see presented often. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses, things that we are naturally good at, and others we're just terrible at. And a lot of times in anime, we see a character admire someone and want to be like them, so I liked how in this case Lotte just wanted to cheer them on, to encourage them to keep doing the things that Lotte could not do herself. And I also love the part where Lotte talks with Annabelle at the end. It's about how Lotte loves the recent developments in the story while Annabelle laments at all the criticism she has been getting. There is a lot of truth to this, how it's easy to get bogged down by all the criticism and hate that people might throw at something while not seeing how many people enjoy the thing for what it is. This really does apply a lot to the anime community because, well, there are some shows that part of the community love and others just don't see the appeal. And this also applies to Trigger's anime. People may say that Little Witch Academia is their weakest show, that it does not have the type of storytelling that their other shows do. But this is not the audience that they're aiming for. Little Witch Academia is a fun slice of life with some cool action spread throughout. So does this mean I take back all the criticism I said earlier on the video? Not really, but it doesn't matter. There are people who love the show for what it is, and so people like me who don't care for this type of show can just move on to something that they like more. And there are plenty of shows out there for everyone, so I guess the point of the episode is, well, it's hard to exactly put it into words. But something about it's best to move on to things you are passionate about, and if you are a creator, do not get bogged down by all the criticism from a vocal minority. And appreciate the people who enjoy your work that you did because of what it is. So yeah, a little bit different take on the episode, I think, than I originally planned. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow with I should really figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Anyway, talk to you then.